My name is Brian Zimmerman and I work for Impact Engineering. We did the first HVAC design for a grow facility. Uh, we used commercial cooling split system units, nominal five ton units. That seemed to be the most cost effective way to do uh, grow facilities because you want redundancy in HVAC for, um, for designing grow facilities. What we learned is, you know, 2010, 2011, 2012, growers started living with their decisions on what type of equipment and the value engineering that went on at the time. And what became apparent was the fact that they were having trouble keeping these commercial um, type split system units running and reliable. And then in 2000, probably late 2012, we worked with a grower that had um, a line on some used computer air conditioning units, computer room air conditioning units. The light bulb just went off. We, we realized that this, these grow facilities, these aren't like commercial facilities, these are process facilities. So the growing operations is a 24-7, 365 day operation with intense loads, much like a data center, and what we needed at this point was something that was going to be reliable from an HVAC standpoint. Something that was designed for process cooling, designed for those type of operations. So the natural marriage was to move into data center units. So I met Data Air. They were awesome. They were great. They were the only, they really were, the, were a company that was willing to listen to these needs. And I, I decided, why can't I get all this in a single unit? that's designed, custom designed for a grow pod to give you temperature control, humidity control, heating if you need it, and most importantly, carbon dioxide. Again, when designing grow facilities, um, you gotta think outside the box. You gotta have a paradigm shift in terms of, this is an emerging and new market. Indoor farming was unheard of. You know, you certainly have greenhouses, but the uniqueness and thinking outside of the box um, was something we were asked to do and something where we asked Data Air to do as well. And they went above and beyond actually what we were looking for. We only imagined pieces of what we needed from customization standpoint. They took it to the next level and said, how about if we do it this way? Or how about if we do it that way? Same end result, better reliability, um, better control.